guys, my name is Kevin, one of the internal medicine chief residents. We're super excited to have you come to Cleveland virtually to check out our program. Let's come into the office and uh, see if we can find some chiefs to take you around the hospital and introduce you to some of our office staff. Come on guys. So this is our internal medicine office. We have a lot of computers in here where you can do work if necessary. And this is Renee, one of our office staff. Hey Renee. Welcome applicants. Renee is really a great resource if you ever need anything done in the office. She's always accessible via email, or if you want to drop in, we always have an open door policy as well. And further back here, this is the chief office. This is where kind of all the action happens from our chief group. Come on in and meet some of our chiefs. Hey guys. Oh, hey hello. Everyone. Welcome. We have Stephanie, one of our regional ambulatory chiefs, and Brandon, one of our curriculum chiefs. Hey everyone. And then if you come past the basketball hoop, one of the most important pieces of decoration that we have in the office. <laughs> we also have Aaron, one of our scheduling chiefs. What's up, guys? Hey, guys. My name is Andy Young. I'm another one of the chiefs. We're on the fifth floor of our learner building, and we're about to go in and learn some more about our didactic lectures. Let's go. All right, so remember, when the applicants come in, you all act really natural. Oh. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us here in our lecture today. This is a lecture hall where we host our intern academic half day. This is some protected time for our interns on Tuesday afternoons for three hours of educational activity during which they forward their pages to their seniors and it's just devoted to learning. As you can see, it's a pretty large room. So even with social distancing, we've been able to hold this in person with our entire intern class. Some of our lectures are still virtual, so we've done a bit of a hybrid format and where we can safely do lectures in person, we've been continuing to do so. Anyone have any questions? Yeah. What kind of lectures do you have not for the interns? So we have a whole host of different lectures. So our seniors will host senior case conferences and all of our residents can join our esteemed educator lectures in which some of our world-class faculty here at Cleveland Clinic present on, sub present on subspecialty lectures and topics in their fields. We also have lectures including our clinical reasoning conference in which we learn a little bit about the bias and decision making that goes into our clinical decisions. And one of our very popular lectures, the high value care con conference in which we learn about not only giving great quality of care to our patients, but also looking at the price and other costs that go into making those decisions. Any other questions? And then I know we're X plus Y here, which we're gonna talk about more later on, but are there any special lectures during the Y week? It's a great question. So during our Y week, our interns have a dedicated ambulatory curriculum that focuses on topics they'll see as primary care physicians. In addition to that, we're currently running a physical exam series to work on their physical exam skills. And for our senior residents, we have the very popular PBL in which we run through a series of cases and have a content expert from a subspecialty field come in to help review the correct answers to some questions associated with that and the thought process they use when they go through similar cases. Hey guys, I'm Erin, I'm one of the scheduling chiefs. So I'm standing here in front of the reflecting pool and one of the most iconic views of the Cleveland Clinic with our main pavilion here. So here on main campus, we have over 1,300 general patient beds. So lots of medicine patients in those beds. That includes 65 dedicated medical ICU beds and over 200 total ICU beds. So no shortage of learning opportunities with patients here. We're gonna pan over to Steph to talk a little bit about our health education campus. Hi again, taking off my mask. So you can see here our building that is now probably one of the most famous buildings on campus. You may recognize it from the first presidential debate which happened last week here in Cleveland. Our health education campus is not just for medical students, but also houses Case Western's nursing school, social work school, and dental school. And we see interprofessional learning on the floors and in the med school. There's also a beautiful simulation center and plenty of teaching opportunities. So if you come here, you know you're not only going to learn, but you're going to have the opportunity to teach as well. Thousands of patients coming in from around the world are greeted by this sign every day. Hey guys, I'm just enjoying some Starbucks down from the cafeteria on our rooftop pavilion. This is a spot where families, patients, caregivers can come up and relax, even enjoy free coffee and tea and cookies on Friday afternoons. It offers a beautiful view of Cleveland, with Lake Erie to the north 
and the city skyline to the west. Out in the distance, you can actually see where the Cleveland Indians play all their home games. It's really an unforgettable view. Getting a page on my Cleveland Clinic iPhone. We all get uh, iPhones when we, when we match here. This is how we have secure email. We have the uh, medical record that's accessible on our phones and we can use them for text and for paging as well. We have a few physical pagers, but most of us have converted over to the iPhone method. You see here that we're in one of the call rooms. We're actually in one of the cardiology call rooms in the Miller building, which you saw outside. We have a few different options for call schedule. Most of our calls are night float system, and those uh, go every other night. You start at 5 p.m. and end at 11 a.m. the next day, then you have the following night off, et cetera, et cetera. A couple of our rotations, oncology and cardiology specifically, have a 24-hour call for interns once a week, um, but those are the only two. The rest, the ICUs and all of the other medicine and subspecialty services have day and night float. Hey everyone, this is an example of one of our private patient rooms here in the J building which houses our cardiology department. All the rooms in this area of the hospital are private. We do have some shared rooms as well in the general medicine floor too. If you look across the green here, you can see the cryo building which houses most of our subspecialty clinics. So if you're interested in one of the subspecialties of medicine, you'll likely be spending some time there getting to know some mentors and connecting with some of our faculty about research projects. There's also a great cafeteria there and one of the three Starbucks on campus. If you look in the background too, you can see our Tosic Cancer Center, which houses all of our outpatient clinics for our cancer patients as well. Hey guys, we're standing here outside of one of our medical ICUs. We're not actually going in right now because our COVID unit is actually inside here. We're not donning and doffing and to save foot traffic, we're gonna stay outside. But like we said, 65 medical ICU beds, when you add in our cardiac and surgical beds, there's over 200. So no shortage of patients and no shortage of procedures. So you get lots of great education here. Um, I'm actually fortunate enough to be staying on next year as a critical care fellow. So I'm gonna be spending lots of time here. We actually have a lot of people choose to stay at the Cleveland Clinic after they finish here. We're gonna have approximately, we had one third of our class stay last year for fellowship or staff opportunities. And look, we're grabbing Kevin here to go ahead and head back to the next spot. Fancy seeing you. Let's go see some more of the hospital. Welcome to H15. This is one of our many resident workrooms across the hospital. This one is actually interdisciplinary and every resident and fellow in the entire hospital has the opportunity to work here and many of them actually spend quite a lot of time here. You can see on the walls there's some remnants of our art show from last year. Every year the House Staff Association hosts an art contest with prizes and um, residents from across all specialties participate. There's some free coffee and tea. And most importantly, as you're going over to the tea, you're gonna see some of our residents who you know, are spending some time lounging in here. Don't remember this, okay? This is Daria, Helene, and Lauren. Guys, how much time do you spend in here? A lot. A lot, what do you what do? You do? Uh, well, this is our work area um, for a lot of the rotations. We come here as a team. There are um, study rooms with computers where we can, you know, go through rounds. We can do teaching in the afternoons. A lot of times we'll do a sign out down here. I just came off nights. Occasionally we'll spend time here as a team on nights. Very close access to the coffee machine, which is very helpful. Um, this is where you run into co-residents from other services. Great great place for a conversation and for bonding as well. If you all like food, Cleveland Clinic's the hospital for you. We've got multiple restaurants that take our on-call money from our badges, including our very own Panera Bread, which is open 24-7. Panera Bread also has a monthly coffee club which you can join and get unlimited coffee for $9 a month. In addition to Panera Bread, we have a Moe's, Subway, Aladdin's, and a Kral cafeteria that has numerous vegan and vegetarian options. And if coffee's what keeps you going, we've got three Starbucks on campus. Come to Cleveland Clinic, you'll be well fed, and you'll be a great doctor. Hey, Dr. Young. Hey, Kevin. I just saw a really interesting patient in clinic. Is it okay if I staff him with you? Great work. I'll be with you in one second. Everyone, we're in G10. That's our main campus internal medicine clinic. 
about half of our residents have their longitudinal clinic here, and the other half are in the community, either uh, in distant community sites or at Stephanie Tubbs Jones, which serves our, our underserved community here right around Cleveland Clinic. Uh, we have a, uh, an X plus Y schedule that's four weeks of inpatient rotations, consults, research, or outpatient clinic, and one week of Y, which is longitudinal clinic, where our residents follow patients over three years. All right, Kev, tell me about your patient. Come on, let's go see him. Well, my feet are tired. That was a long day of walking around the hospital. Clearly, Brandon's are too. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. We'd just like to take this opportunity to thank you all for joining us on this tour. Now we're gonna take a selfie. Why don't you come join us? Bye. Bye. See ya. Everyone. We'll see you in Cleveland.